Hello everybody, the Destroyer here, and welcome back to another cast of the Rise of Witch King, patch 2.2, version 5.0.1, from the October 2015 Rise of the Pumpkin Halloween Tournament. And this, of course, is the semi-finals, game three, between SPQR and Maher. And Maher is in the top left this time. And he is Angmar, and his opponent is SPQR, of course, in the bottom right as Goblins. Goblins versus Angmar. Ooh. This should be uh, interesting. Will of course be filled with spam, as you would expect. But yeah, if you haven't watched game one to go do that, of course, first. But I will tell you now, spoilers, that uh SPQR won last game, obviously, and Maher won the first game. So they have to play a game three to see who advances to the finals. And then who has to play the third place games to claim third place. So we'll see who is victorious here. Maher is going for a Hall of the King's Men and getting himself a third mill there. Of course, SPQR is going for a Goblin Cave, as you would expect. Really, starts aren't too varied, generally speaking. Unless somebody's trying something absolutely crazy, but I mean, in a tournament, you probably don't want to do that. You want to try something you know works. And of course, Goblin Spam works. <laughs> that, I can tell you for a fact. As does any spam team's team, or spam units. Gundabad Warriors, of course, very effective spam unit. One of the better ones, in fact. As are Goblin Warriors. Goblin Warriors do quite a bit of damage. They've been sent in the tunnel there. Does he have a forward tunnel somewhere? He does. Well, in the building, at least. It's getting there. But he will have to contend with these Gundabad Warriors moving through the forward here. He will need more spam. Much more spam. And he will get it. He could also bring him out from here as well if he needs to. Of course, I'm imagining he wants to bring him out here. Or something. And then go harass the mills of Maher there. I guess we'll find out. He's just sending him in. I don't know if he's seen these yet. I'd imagine he has. But I guess they haven't done anything. Done any damage yet. So maybe, I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Maher sending in more guys. SPQR is sending his builder in deeper to the enemy lines. Will he be spotted by this Thrall? Thrallmaster. If he does, then he'll know exactly where to send his Thrall. Doesn't look like he's going to, though. Now there is a fight in the south. These Goblin Warriors clean up these Gundabad Warriors easily. With their war chant. And their poison blades, of course. He didn't quite finish him though. Should probably finish him off a little bit. But we'll see who wins Gundabad Warriors versus Goblin Warriors. Of course there is a, another battalion of war chant here, so it's not really a fair fight, but I think in a one-on-one -on -one fight it looks like a Thrallmaster horde would have won. As that you would expect. Goblin Warriors are much cheaper. I would expect the Thrallmaster Gunnabed Warriors to win in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Of course, they do take heavy casualties, as you would expect from those Poison Blades. They're just nasty. It's definitely the strength of the Goblin, the Poison Blade. Poison in general is the Goblin theme, really, if you think about it. They have it on their Spider Riders, their Goblin Warriors, their Spider Lings. And, of course, Shelob has a Poison Sting. That's it, really, but still, that's quite a bit... Oh, Goblin Archers also have Poison Arrows. Which he could utilize as well. Poison Arrows are quite effective, but you have to get so close to use it. That sometimes it's really not worth it to use it. And we have half Trump Marauders out for SPQR. An interesting unit choice, I gotta say. Possi yeah, I was gonna say, possibly I would've went for half Troll Swordsman. Maybe he was going to use these to creep the troll or something. But half Troll Swordsman would be much better against the Gundabad Warriors. As a swordsman counter pikemen, of course, but these swordsmen are not nearly as good as these. So these would absolutely destroy them. But with the upgraded swordsman, he should have a slight advantage here. The Maher keeping the pressure, he's keeping the flood on. Angmar troops keep pouring in through the center of the fords. SPQR be able to keep up? I would imagine so, since he's fighting in front of his base. But only time will tell, really. This guy's still very healthy. Even the half Marauder is still alive here. Doing quite well. 
They do have a good attack, so... They're not useless against Gundabad Warrior, as you see there. But not ideal in comparison to the Swordsman. He doesn't even care he doesn't want these to die those Axars, of course. He might need another Goblin Cave, I think. To keep the Goblin Spam pumping out. Lawhar is actually getting in deep here, doing some damage to this tunnel. He does not want to lose that tunnel, of course. It's one of his key tunnels. And these Axars are doing quite well against these Goblin Warriors there. Did he lose his troll, or half troll guys? Ah, he sent him into the tunnel and sent him over to Maher's base. So he's now going to put some pressure on Maher, get it a little bit of pressure off himself. Causing Maher, of course, to have to stop sending guys across the ford and start sending guys to his defense. Which, really what he needs to do is the goblins. You have to play very aggressively as the goblins. You can't be defensive, in my opinion. They shine when they're aggressive. Because they have the ability to be everywhere. They have a tunnel system. Which, of course, gives them instant access across the map instantly. If you have a tunnel across the map, of course. And they just are able to spam so much. Looks like these half -troll swordsmen are falling, though. Axlers and Gunabad orcs doing enough damage here to bring them down. This is a spendy loss, because they aren't cheap. They're 400 in comparison to Goblin Warriors, which are 80. He could probably be spamming Goblin Warriors and Archers and actually be winning these fights. If you think about it, he really should actually invest in some Goblin Archers, in my opinion. If he wants to swing things back in his favor, because I think Maher's winning a bit here. He's also going to lose this Ford Tunnel there in the south, which is unfortunate. Because that looks like his only Ford Tunnel besides this northern one, which isn't really forward, I'd say. He just really needs more Goblin Caves. I mean, honestly. Goblin spam is the strength of goblins. You need to utilize it, or else he needs some spider riders or something. Spider riders would be great here too, because they kill these axors and good and bad warriors easily. Possibly that would have been a better choice than a fissure, or he maybe should upgrade and go for a cave troll. But I don't think the uh, half trolls are doing very well for him, though. As you see, he's just not able to keep up because of how expensive and slow building these are. And now he loses the goblin cave, which. Cuts his production down immensely. He's going to lose another one here as well. Axlers, of course, do pretty good building damage. So that one will fall, I would imagine. And there it goes. He's only able to produce two battalions of Goblin Warriors at once. Maher clearly having an advantage in this third game, unfortunately, for SPQR. He is, he is raiding his base, though. He's not giving up. But unfortunately, his base has taken a lot of damage. I'm not sure he'll be able to recover here. Maher does have some troops in the south of his base as well. Which of course is not ideal. Maher is actually attacking this northern tunnel also. Oh, somebody's gone for the uh, untamed allegiance. Looks like Maher has. That could be bad. Very bad for SPQR. He doesn't have anything can deal with that as far as I can tell. He has some half-troll marauders, actually, but they are over here, and now they can't get back in their tunnel network to actually go back and deal with it. So this cave troll will have free reign to just wreck all he wants. Goblin warriors aren't going to do too much against those. Somebody's got a builder over here, and Maher does. He might need to get that out of there, he might lose his builder. Looks like he didn't directly target the builder, so the builder actually gets away. Maybe a slight mishap. These half troll swordsmen could have easily killed him. Fortunately for him, he will live to see another day and build another mill. <laughs> and the golems have been killed, and the ring has been picked up by Angmar. And Maher has decided to bring his gift to SPQR. Of course, the ring isn't going to make any difference in this game. Unless it goes for a very long time, which I don't think it will. I think Maher should be able to be victorious shortly here. Especially with the Cave Troll support from uh, Untamed Allegiance. SPQR doesn't even have a 10 power point yet. That's where Maher is almost at another 10 power point after getting a 10 as well himself. He's at 427 of 700. SPQR is at 176 of 300. Huge difference. He's got his Wildman Summon though. That'll help him out because he really needs it. 
This third game is not going his way, that is for certain. He has gone for Spiderlings, but I think it's too late. The Spiderlings, of course, will help. Because they're very fast. But, uh, this time will tell. Maher just has so many troops on the field. He's able to field a lot of guys out of these three Hall of the King's men. Honestly, these Spiderlings won't be able to get too much done. They should be able to finish this if he goes for it, though, because they're out of range of the fortress. Now we have a battle in the center forward here. Yeah, unfortunately, the half rolls will start cutting it in this match. Not a good matchup to use half rolls very quickly. It seemed like a good idea. I would have thought half troll swordsman would have been a good idea. And even from marauders against these trolls would probably be, might be necessary at this point, actually. But I just see Maher's just dominating, really. SPQR is putting up a good fight, though. Maher might lose this mill here. Maybe. These Axelors are cleaning him up fairly quickly. Just got more to die very fast, the Axelors. Spiderlings even do, too. Spiderlings are not very uh, strong against arrow fire. Ooh! I was going to say he pulled away right before, but these Goblin Warriors that were remaining actually took it, took it down there. He does have the charge attack to utilize for these uh, half troll swordsmen. He probably should have utilized that. Once they hit level 2, remember to use that charge attack. It's pretty good. It's just like the dwarven uh, charge as well. Always remember to utilize that when you can. Because that 50% armor and damage boost is pretty big. 50% is not a little amount. And it's actually more than leadership gives you, if you think about it. So. It's a free war chant. Actually, does war chant give 50? Yeah, it is a free war chant. Of course, it does not stack with war chant, so uh, if you're already benefiting from war chant, probably best to wait until that wears off and then use it. So you just extend the life of war chant, essentially. Unless you need to use it to get into your enemy's lines very quickly, then charge is very nice for that as well. And in comes Angmar surrounding the goblin base here. SPR has a few goblin battalions ready to intercept. War champ being thrown down on some of them. We've got some arrow towers to help defense. If he loses that fissure, it's going to be a bit of a blow there. I really think SPQR should have went for Spider Rider, though. Spider Riders would have made a huge difference. Oh, and Agmar has got the summon giants. That's going to seal the deal. He has nothing that can actually deal with these. Goblin warriors would not be able to stop these giants. And I think Maher will take this game. There goes the fort. He's demolishing everything. All he has left is this building rubble. There you go. SPR has been defeated. And Maher is victorious. So Maher, of course, taking game three. He will go on to the finals round to face up against whoever is in the finals. So I guess you'll see when that comes out. But yeah, well played to Maher. He did that very well and showed the might of Angmar. Even against the Goblins. Goblins being one of the strongest teams in patch 2.02. So, SPQR gave it a good run, and he will now play the third place game against whoever else is in the third place match. And that will be that. So, I will see you guys for the next cast in the tournament of October 2015. Of course, remember to check out Phoenix's channel for more casts of the tournament. He's casting the other, other half of the tournament that I am not. So there you go. The link is in the description of the video. So I will see you guys next time.